Hi everybody, this is Connie. I know it's been a little while since um, I've talked to you, probably a week. I uh, got a new job and I'm very happy about that. I start tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock and so I'm trying to get a few of these videos out of the way today. I am part of a collab with several other wonderful, beautiful women from YouTube. We all are part of the same group on Facebook and we are doing our favorite brands today. Uh, I, first of all, I'm going to do Maybelline. I will list all the other ladies and what they are doing down below. Please check them out. They're all so wonderful. Okay. Um, I'm going to give start with a little history. I'm going to do Maybelline and I thought when I chose Maybelline, I, it was between this and another brand, and I, I really kind of regret choosing this. I wish I would have chosen the other brand, because it, it turns out I have a lot more of that than I do of this. I thought I had a lot more Maybelline, but I guess I don't. Um, L'Oreal is part of Maybelline, but it's really not called Maybelline. So anyway, I'm going to start off with a little bit of history, and I'm going to read some things to you. So... If I'm looking down, that's what I'm doing, okay? Um, T.L. Williams founded the Maybelline Company in 1915. And the first thing he had was cake mascara. And that was in 1917. Uh, that was the first everyday uh, beauty item that can be used every day. Okay. Uh, the firm and brand name Maybelline was adopted in honor of his oldest sister, Mabel, from who he originally received the idea of producing an easy-to-use product to darken the eyelashes, which could be sold commercially. Okay, mascara first appeared in um, Nation's Variety Stores in September of 32. A special 10-cent package of Maybelline mascara was designed for sale in those stores. Uh, Maybelline eyebrow pencils came along a few years later, Eyebrow pencils were the natural follow-up to the solid mascara as the company's second eye cosmetic. Eyeshadows of various shades were added in the 20s. In 1971, Great Lash, which is this, uh, a water-based mascara was introduced. With a truly legendary history, it is still the number one best-selling mascara in the marketplace. Today, a Great Lash mascara crosses the drugstore drug scanner every 1.5 seconds. Its winning formula is closely guarded and its hip appeal, appeal is undeniable. In 1996, Maybelline was purchased by L'Oreal. And that's all I have written down here. So I thought I'd show you, I have um, everything that I have on, except for one thing, is Maybelline today. So I'll show you what I'm wearing first. First of all, the only thing that is not Maybelline, I do not have a highlighter. So I used my e.l.f. Uh, highlighter in Moonlight, Moonlit Pearl. That's the only thing that I used that was not Maybelline. Okay, so I used my blushed nudes palette which I absolutely love. I used this color for all over my lid. I used this color for my crease. And I used, if I can see it right here. I'm not looking at this right. It's the gold color in my on my lid. And I used a little bit of this um, underneath my eye to smoke it out just a little bit. But I absolutely love this. I would recommend this to anybody. Um, the colors are all neutrals. They're beautiful. They're, a couple of the colors are just a little bit powdery. But um, tap off your brush first and you're fine. Okay, so then I used, I do have a Maybelline uh, Brow Precise um, Brow Pencil, and it is in Soft Brown. So that's what I used on my brows today. And it worked pretty well. I have, I never used liquid eyeliner, ever. I 
normally you know just use a pencil on my bottom lid today this is the only Maybelline eyeliner I own and it is the Master Precise and that is in black and it comes like this it's very very nice um, although I don't like it real well so I kind of covered it up a little bit with the glow with the gold just to tone it down because I just don't like um, a lot of eyeliner on my top lid okay and then I used my favorite mascara of all time which is the rocket I absolutely love this mascara this was um, like the first mascara I think I ever used that I remember using and I still um, purchase it time and time again every time that I throw one away I go and buy one okay so the next thing I used for my blusher was I don't use this real often because I think it's real dark and and I can tell that I probably went a little bit overboard on my blush today and this is master highlight by face studio highlighting blush um, in mauve which is my favorite color but um, I just think this is a little bit dark for me you guys let me know what do you think but I don't use this real often once in a great while I do um, but you really have to have a light hand, and I think I went a little bit heavy with it today. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I used was my Ma Maybelline, and I believe this these are called um, Elixirs. And, which I don't, I should have used a, a lipstick, but I absolutely love these. But this color, uh, and I can tell already, it is pooling in the corners of my mouth. This color, the light colors are much better on this. Um, the dark colors, it's very pretty. I really, I'm looking in a mirror. I really like it, but it does tend to um, pool a little bit. And it did in the corners of my mouth. I just wiped that off. So um, anyway, it's very pretty color. This is a 020 Signature Scarlet. And this is what it looks like. I will see. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful color, but um, like any, I mean, I'm I'm not a lip gloss girl. So like any lip gloss, this kind of I don't know, kind of moves around on your lips. To me, that's that's my thoughts on the thing anyway I'm going to show you some more of my my um, Maybelline that I have here and I've got the nudes palette I don't have the smoky palette because I don't smoke out my eyes um, rarely and so this is absolutely beautiful see the the blushed has a few more blush tones the kind of pinky tones and the golds and stuff which I absolutely love but these are my colors. I mean, these, the nude colors, the blush colors, suit me to a T, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. I absolutely love them. And these two palettes, I would recommend to anybody. Like I said, they can be a little bit powdery, but tap off your brush first, and it's fine. Okay, and like I said, I have the Great Lash. And that comes in, I'm sure it's in Blackest Black is what this is and this is the wand on that okay and so I tend to really like their um, Maybelline's color sensationals so I've got this one now this one here I'm gonna be giving away so I'm not gonna it's gonna be in my giveaway I'm not going to put it I'm not gonna swatch it I'm sorry it is just way too pink for me um, I don't like the way this looks on me at all. So I am going to give that away. Okay, the next one is, by the way, that was color 865 Fuchsia Flash. And some fuchsias I like, that one I don't. Okay, this one is 1010 Pink Grandeur. And that is, see that is... That is a really dark pink, but I love that color. I think that is beautiful. This is what it looks like. See, they're coming off more pink 
on camera than they are in real life. Okay, the next, in real life, and the next one is 160 Fifth Avenue Fuchsia, and that looks like that. You can hear the ambulance. And that one's like that. Now this one I really like. It's like this. Okay. Next is 140 Fuchsia Fever. Apparently I like Fuchsia. Now, I'm not real sure about this one either. Um, this one is pretty pink too, but I don't know yet what I'm going to do with that one. I know some of you have expressed that you don't care that they're they're used just a little bit and none of these have been used a lot because um, I kind of take turns with all my lipsticks okay so this one here is a color sensational this one is 665 lust for blush and that is in more of a blush color and I this is kind of a nudie mauvey color which I absolutely love okay and the next, last lipstick I have is the 630 Red Revolution. And I got these on clearance, if you can't tell. I hate that how they put those. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So the next, I'm, I'm going to show you my um, the rest of my Elixir ones. And this is 090. And this is in Rose refined. I'm going to put these on the other hand here. So they come off really nice, but then they kind of, I don't know. So anyway, this is, whoops, right there. This one is 010 Celestial Coral. Sorry, trying to find a clean area there for you. That's really pretty. These feel good. They're not sticky. You know, if you guys, you know, wondering about lip glosses. Oh my goodness, I cannot do this right. They are not sticky whatsoever. This is 080 Captivating Carnation. And these are all really kind of pretty close in color. You can tell I like these same colors. And the last one, and my last Maybelline item that I could find today anyway, I've got such a mess with my makeup, is 015 Glowing Garnet. And this is what the it's a doe foot applicator. So they're very pretty. Very kind of very shiny, very pretty. But um and I for for lip gloss, I absolutely love them. But to me they they move around. They don't last but just a little while. You have to keep putting, you know, reapplying them for in my opinion. Anyway. So, anyway, I do love Maybelline. I like Maybelline lipsticks. I probably have, oh, this is probably a smidgen of what I have uh, tucked away somewhere that I haven't used for a while. So, but this is, this gives you kind of an idea of what I've got and what Maybelline is all about. I do, I love Maybelline. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please, Make sure that you um, give the girls down below a look-see. They're, they're awesome. They're awesome. Sorry, guys, that um, I don't feel that I gave a really good description of Maybelline. Uh, but if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And check out the other girls. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Love you guys.